Hi guys, I just wanted to say, like, hope everybody's summer is going good. And I'm sorry that I didn't have enough time to, um, you know, get back into reviewing. But I have been getting into, like, Avengers now. So, like, I used to be in Avengers now that I wasn't, now I'm into it. Yeah, it's just kind of a whole mess, but I'm going to review one of my favorite Avengers sets, which is the Avengers Tower. Let's start with the minifigures. First minifigure here is, um, Iron Man? Yeah. And, um, I think he's a good figure. But I'm just gonna kind of... Come on, camera, focus. Focus. <gasps> okay. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> but, yeah. Here's Iron Man. And let's just take off his mask. Put his hair back on, because I accidentally shaved him bald. And... There he is. Next minifigure. Next minifigure here I'm going to review is Black Widow. And, yeah, pretty good. I love that arm printing. I actually used one of her arm printing in the Helicarrier set for a uh, Darth Vader thing. I customized the arms a bit, but, yeah, she's got two little guns, her pistol, and her um, alternate facial expression. Right there. She was looking a bit angry. Don't know why I said to make her mad. But, yeah. Go on to the next one. Next main figure we have here is an aim agent with that little thing we think of this um chest I yeah why is it dangling off his chest is that like some why <laughs> but I love that gun like even better than the black widow printing on her arms but yeah um here's the minifigure pretty cool if you remove this helmet really nothing but yeah there's also another minifigure in the set same thing just a little different guns and torsos but yeah i don't know why they include that torso thing maybe to grapple onto the avengers tower but next minifigure next minifigure we have here i think it's the uh iron man hot rod suit i like it i love that legs those legs and um yeah pretty cool under the helmets, really nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, there's a clear head, but let's just pretend there's nothing, okay? Let's put that back on. Leave it there. Okay? Next minifigure. It's our Iron Man suit. Never, another one here is the Silver Centurion. I think that's what it was in front of the comics. Like that shoulder. Boy, like this printing. I'm sorry, I just get a little nervous when I do these videos, but um, yeah. Pretty cool, same head, and one more main figure, and I think he's he's a very important villain, and one of the enemies of Captain America, who does not come in this set. I don't know if I said last main figure, but yeah, here's the last main figure. He is Red Skull. He looks pretty awful. I mean, like, well, the minifigure doesn't look awful, but his face, like, Anybody who has a face looking like that rather had really bad plastic surgery or, um, I don't know, let's just move on to the tower. First thing I thought when I saw this thing, I was like, holy crap, that's huge. I almost swore there. I can barely fit it onto one camera screen. Look. Things huge. I don't know how I built it when I was like I built this like a year ago. Wait, uh, here it is. Pretty nice. Um, I'll just show you all of this right now. As you can see, you saw one of the features, and you see the back. I think you just saw a little something at the bottom. But um, so I just like how that it was displayed. But it looks opposite on your on your side, but my side looks like normal A, but still looks cool in that early way, right? And also, um, I forgot how this feature works, but say, like, we got your minifigure, Iron Man, right here. I don't know if this is going to be the best bet, because he can fly, but... What? Well, I forgot it. <gasps> how do I do this? Oh, yeah, like this. So this is called the... Actually, the... 
Avengers Tower Battle, forgot that at the beginning. It is set 76166, and it has 685 pieces. And, yeah, this is it. But, um, yeah, this is how that feature works. You just, you know, drop that entire building part, the entire balcony. And also how this works is, I'll show you right here. So you actually have the little sticking out thing right there. And you can pull it up, push it in, so it sticks. But when you pull it out, it drops it because there's nothing like holding it up. So let me just put that back on and yeah, pretty cool. And also, there's a little cool feature right here. You just saw it. Boom. Yes, very big boom. I should probably drop this. No, no, I shouldn't. Uh, I was thought if this thing dropped down the balcony, I had more room, but if I pulled this out, it wouldn't be able to open that, so, yeah. So, also, I wish I had a camera for this. We have, um, like a little video game right here. It is Captain America and Red Skull fighting. So, when you close it up, actually, the, first of all, you have this little living area, and, um, the chairs can spin. Pretty nice. And if you close it up, it's all one room, so you can play, like, a game in there. It's pretty cool. I like it. And also, you have this power orb. Uh, why did I say... <clears throat> why did I say power orb? I meant just the orb, because it holds the power stone right there. Can't, like, spin these. Well, you can, but it doesn't spin that. These parts of the orb right there. And also... I customized a little few bits of the, um, since, I, since this is an old set I have, um, I customized a few bits of it, that's why I couldn't find, like, all the accessories for the min figures. I'm lagging out. Crap. And, um, that's why I just have that, and, um, if I'm pointing to the min figures, and, um, I just don't have all the accessories because, well, it's an old set, like I already said, but, um, just can't find them. Don't know where they are. But, um, otherwise I customized some few parts of the set right there. As you can see, there's an armory. Customize that Iron Man helmet. I don't know why. But, you also have a little jail for Red Skull. You can just lift this up. Oh, the laser burns my fingers. Um, but I will keep him in the here for the rest of the video. Because he's a dangerous, um botched plastic surgery thing criminal that deserves to be locked up in a laser prison but um yeah you just have a little empty space here i don't know why you have a little motorbike right here and then here is a little jumper i think for the avengers and um it has a little avengers tower thing on that hologram pretty nice i'm gonna move my camera down here so i can show you this i love this motorbike Here's the front, so it just goes like, it's a hover, it's a hovering, hover bike, motorcycle thingy, I really don't know, so let me just try to struggle, put that back in, technical difficulties, sorry, but, <laughs> let me try and put that back in, and it's not working, yay! But, um, let's take that out. We don't care about that anymore. But, you can, um, why am I looking at that way? Uh, um, but you can also move this window. This little feature. Maybe to get that, um, motorbike out. But, yeah. That is actually pretty much it for the tower and the set. So, I'm gonna go to my final thoughts and the end of the video. So, yeah, I think it's a pretty good set, and for, I don't know the price, I know it's pretty heavy, but, um, maybe like a hundred, ninety dollars, like, not a hundred and ninety dollars, but maybe a hundred dollars or ninety dollars, I think this is a good set overall, and I think you should buy it if you have enough money, or if your parents would let you buy that with that much money. Um, yeah.
I just think it's a really good set to have, and for collectors of Marvel's stuff, Lego thingies, uh, yeah, I think it's really good. I know I've said that, like, three times now, but, uh, yeah. Um, I'm getting nervous now. Yeah! <laughs> stage right, stage right! Um, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!